So TikTok for me started uh, as most of us during the pandemic. There was nothing else to do and there was this new social media platform. I would say my TikTok progressed by just me finding my personality because that really started to shine through just as much as my art. Good morning, you beautiful bitch. This is the outfit that I went with and today we're painting the Bevo Mill. Let's get into it. And I think now that is um, where I get a lot of my following is personality and what I'm making. And it's like the more true to myself that I was, the better those videos did or like, you know, the more genuine comments that I got. You know, I am a uh, gay man who paints in plein air and wears makeup. So you would think that I get a lot of hate, but I think the energy that I put off and being so like true to myself, um, I like don't have like any haters and I'm really thankful for that. Anywho, back to the art and not a fart. So the TikTok community being incredibly supportive is is really, really uplifting. It makes you feel great. It makes you feel like you always have this group of people that's gonna pump you up. This paper won't stop filming me, it's kinda weird. The fact that I had that community really made the pandemic a lot easier. I don't know, it just kept me busy, kept me focused, kept me painting. I didn't hit artist block. I didn't hit any like depression. I just kept going because I knew there were people out there that were waiting to see my content. So having that, uh, motivates me even more. So when you run into a painter that's already interesting but then you run into someone like me and I think it like confuses you but interests you and I don't know bringing that level of comfort to TikTok I think shows other people that painting in plein air is really cool um, and also being yourself is like the only way to be you know.